Before we start tonight's video, I would like to ask you guys a question. Have you ever seen this picture before? I came across this picture while looking at photos of SCP-1048. There was a link attached to the picture, but every time I clicked on a link, it took me back to Google, Bing, or even a hentai page. So if you guys know any more information on this one, please let me know, and it could be a potential video. The whereabouts of SCP-1048 are currently unknown, though it is still believed to be somewhere in Site-24. Subject is to be secured for containment, but any creation of SCP-1048 should be destroyed on site, unless further evidence warrants less extreme actions. No teddy bears are to be allowed in Site-24 to prevent any confusion or mistaken identity. Any object that resembles a teddy bear is to be reported to the security team immediately. This is not a joke. We have no idea what SCP-1048 full capabilities are. Who knows how many of those damn things are out there by now. SCP-1048 is a small teddy bear, approximately 33 centimeters in height. Through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it different from a non-sapient teddy bear. Subject is capable of moving on its own accord and can communicate through a small range of gestures. The subject regularly shows affection to individuals in ways found endearing by most people. Affection is usually given in the form of a hug to the lower leg, but subject has also been observed dancing, jumping in place, and in two separate events it has even drawn childlike pictures for janitorial staff. All Foundation personnel that have interacted with the subject have responded positively to its affection, even D-Class with normally psychopathic tendencies. Attempts at direct communication with SCP-1048 have not been considered successful. Though it is capable of simple gestures to indicate a yes or no answer, it will often not react to lines of questioning concerning its nature or where it originated from. It is not known if this is because SCP-1048 simply does not know the answers or because it does not want to answer. Though capable of drawing pictures, it has not used its art as a form of communication beyond showing affection, even when encouraged to do so. The behavior of SCP-1048 was not observed until approximately 7 months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials by a process that has yet to be observed directly by Foundation staff. Dr. Carver has suggested that SCP-1048 use its endearing qualities to load those around it in a false sense of security, allowing it to collect materials to produce these creations. Currently, there are three known creations of SCP-1048, designated SCP-1048-A, SCP-1048-B, and SCP-1048-C. The nature of these creations have been in stark contrast to SCP-1048's general behavior, as all have exhibited extreme violence towards humans. On the night of SCP-1048-A was discovered wandering Site-24, accompanied by SCP-1048. Subject resembles a teddy bear similar in size and shape to SCP-1048, but is made entirely out of human ears. Witnesses interviewed reported that it appeared SCP-1048 was giving a tour of Site-24 to SCP-1048-A. Dr. Carver was called to the scene along with a security team. The security team arrived first and attempted to contain SCP-1048-A. Subject emitted a high-pitched shriek that inflicted intense pain in the eyes and ears of everyone in a 10-meter radius. Ear-like growths immediately began growing on those within 5 meters of the subject, covering their bodies in less than 20 seconds. Every person afflicted with this symptom died within 3 minutes, resulting in the death of personnel, including the entire security team. 
Autopsies reveal that the cause of death to be asphyxiation caused by an abundance of the air-like growths manifesting in the mouths of our victims. SCP-1048 and SCP-1048A fled the scene before Dr. Carver arrived and have not been contained since the incident, though sightings of both have been reported on multiple occasions. Shortly after this incident occurred, a researcher was discovered missing an ear. According to him, it was removed through unknown means while he was sleeping. No other victims of ear removal were found, so it's unclear if SCP-1048 obtained more ears from another source or if it is capable of duplicating objects or materials. SCP-1048-B was discovered by several Foundation staff members in the cafeteria of Site-24 on Subject's appearance was nearly identical to SCP-1048, but it moved in an irregular, jerky manner. Witnesses reported that it appeared as if something was moving inside of SCP-1048-B. Subject made no attempt to interact initially until a burst in its seams revealed what appeared to be a hand and arm of a human infant poking out and grasping for air. At the sight of this, a female researcher named <laughs> screamed, and SCP-1048-B reacted by emitting a high-pitched cry similar to that of a human infant. The subject then attempted to the screaming researcher, causing massive internal damage. In the ensuing chaos, a security team was forced to both the researcher and SCP-1048-B. Approximately three hours after this incident, Dr. was found unconscious and bleeding in her office. An abortion had been performed on her while she was sleeping, and the eight-month-old fetus was never found. It is hypothesized that SCP-1048 used Dr. Unborn Child to create SCP-1048-B. Information regarding the possible origin of SCP-1048-B is not to be leaked to the survivors currently undergoing therapy for the incident with SCP-1048-B as Dr. Carver believes it will be extremely detrimental to their recovery. SCP-1048-C resembles a teddy bear similar to SCP-1048, but composed entirely of rusted metal scraps. Subject was first sighted on by Dr. Carver in his office while writing up a report on the SCP-1048-B incident. Subject fled the room when it noticed Dr. Carver observing it. In the attempted pursuit of SCP-1048-C, Dr. Carver witnessed the death and maiming of Foundation personnel as the subject exhibited extreme violence during its escape. SCP-1048-C has not been encountered since its initial sighting, and it is unknown whether it still resides somewhere within Site-24. The origins of any materials possibly used to construct SCP-1048-C by SCP-1048 are also unknown at this time. And that ends yet another episode of History Behind the Horror, and it is our first episode for Season 4. This character was more interesting than I thought it was going to be when I first decided to do this video. It was interesting because I've seen this character in the SCP Containment Breach game, even though I can't really get too far in the game to know if this character does anything or not. Uh, I still find it interesting that it is in there because you go into some kind of room and it's, it's like behind a glass kind of like kind of like dancing like you heard in the video and it's cool now that I think about it because I thought it was a harmless SCP I literally thought when I seen it I'm like oh that's a cute SCP you know it, it couldn't possibly harm something it's probably trying to protect the teddy bear because it's so small and it could uh, be damaged or it probably has something about it that's very uh, crucial or it just could be just in a live teddy bear that you know it's only one of those in the world so let's keep it safe turns out that that is a demon teddy bear that can pretty much take anything it wants and turn it into a replica of it whether it be made out of ears metal uh, cardboard or anything of the sort and it seems like it can gain its own abilities based off just being something different like the ears one can make you grow a bunch of ears the baby one makes you uh have eternal bleeding because you know it took that uh ability from taking the baby out of that lady's you know the mom's stomach and now the other lady had eternal bleeding from the scream that he did and then the ears because they you know was made out of ears you know so 
the possibilities are completely endless. It seems like SCP-1048 can construct a replica of himself just based off any material that he chooses, whether it be humans like the baby, and you have the ears, and then you also have the the full metal SCP-148. I mean, 1048C. So maybe you can make one out of paper, and you get like paper cuts to death. You make one out of jelly and i don't even know <laughs> i'm just saying stupid stuff now but um as always thank you guys so much for watching this video this is the beginning of season four if you guys would like to see more scps please let me know which ones you guys want to see uh give me some ones that are really interesting and also in the beginning of the video as i told you guys if you can help me figure out what that was in the beginning of the video for that scp or not let me know and i'll try to make that into a potential video if you have your favorite scp put in uh put it in the comment section and make sure you check the scp uh playlist so you make sure that i didn't already do the video already so thank you guys so much for watching and you also can add other things in the video too also other games besides scp so like i said thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next episode of history behind the horror